Hello and welcome to Mentoring the Mentors, an institute that accelerates your learning curve. My dear educators, as I have been sharing with you a number of activities for various occasions and events, so today I'm going to share with you some wonderful, amazing activities for our upcoming event that is World Health Day. And I'm going to share these activities with you from my new book, Seasons of Growth. So here, my lovely educators, if you talk about World Health Day, our motto should be building a fair healthier world. Keeping the same in mind, I have uh, jotted down a few activities that I'm going to share with you. Uh, it's a day to raise awareness about health issues and advocate for better healthcare access and policies worldwide. So I'm going to first start with MI-based, like multiple intelligences-based activities with you all. If I talk about verbal linguistic learners, so for that, we can conduct a health-themed debate or allocation competition on topics such as junk food versus healthy food, physical fitness versus mental health, or maybe the importance of vaccination. See, when we talk about what is the importance of vaccination, we all know very well, we all have gone through this process. Everybody got the COVID vaccination. And if I talk about the little children, like as per their age, they have to have certain specific vaccinations they have got a particular vaccination chart you can have a parent child collaborative task where parent will be talking to the child and will be showing the vaccination card that is there for a particular child so accordingly they also can make a list also like as and when which vaccination is due so such kind of activities you can conduct in your junior classes as well you know at five years at 10 years they have got some vaccinations due and even the little ones who are entering the school, you can check at the age of three, have they got all the required vaccinations or not? If I talk about logical mathematical learners, you can organize a health quiz competition for your students covering topics, uh, maybe nutrition, exercise, diseases, prevention. Okay, this can help students to develop their logical and analytical skills. If I talk about the bodily kinesthetic intelligence, you can conduct physical activities such as sports tournament, yoga classes, which are mandatory nowadays, dance workshop to promote physical fitness among students. You can also invite parents as the guest speakers, or maybe they can take the classes also for a particular day if they are good at any of these activities. If I talk about musical intelligence, the number of songs are available, plethora of uh, other activities are related to musical intelligence that you can conduct in your classes like talent show as well, where students, they can showcase their musical skills by composing songs and writing health themed lyrics. They let them compose their own poems and sing it and recite it with rhythm. And if we talk about visual spatial intelligence, you can hold an art competition or exhibition on health related themes such as healthy eating habits, disease prevention or importance of hygiene. This will help students improve their artistic and you see creativity they will be able to enhance their artistic skills so this is how you can conduct such kinds of poster making slogan writing competitions as well talking about interpersonal intelligence you can conduct group activities such as role playing skits group discussions on health related topics and this will help students develop their communication skills their teamwork their leadership skills interpersonal intelligence you can conduct a role play on first aid as well where children they will be showing what and how the first aid is required and it is important in different cases right and this is how you will be able to relate the same with the science topic subjects as well that are there in the curriculum interpersonal intelligence we have already discussed now let's talk about intrapersonal intelligence you may encourage your students to maintain personal health journals so that will give them the habit of personal journal maintenance where they can record their daily food intake what are they consuming why uh, are they spending proper time for exercising so cycling mental health status this will help them develop self-awareness you see they will be self-aware they will be aware learners. So that will help their uh, development of metacognition skills. Or you can talk about the self-reflection skills as well. So by incorporating these skills, you will be able to have fun and learning altogether. Talking about some activities based on Bloom's taxonomy, if I talk about remembering, you can conduct a quiz 
competition where you can cover various topics as per the themes related to health. When we talk about nutrition, when we talk about diseases, talking about vaccination, talking about various bodily systems, right? And in sciences, biology, which and everything, you will be able to correlate with this part and you can have a quiz. So what all topics you have covered? Maybe we are going to begin a new session now. Many of us already started on 3rd of April. So even if you want to recapitulate the previous concepts done in the previous classes, you can also take a quiz as a recapitulation for those topics. If we're talking about understanding, organize group discussions or maybe debates on health-related topics, maybe the impact of junk food on our health. Maybe every day we have got to see a lot of cravings for this junk foods. It's, we talk about pizza, we talk about burgers. Like the children, they are really, uh, you see, they have a lot of cravings for this. So we can talk about what are the ill effects of this food called uh, fast food done in a minute and all, right? So what are the effects of that on our body too? Right. So you can talk about physical fitness. And if you talk about application, you can conduct a workshop on healthy cooking uh, during your culinary club. You can talk about gardening. You can have an interaction with the gardener also, like talking about what all uh, vegetables and fruits are there in the school uh, kitchen garden. Yeah. OK, you can have a nature walk, too. And uh, students will be able to learn about uh, various practices that are being followed in the kitchen garden too. And they'll be able to apply the knowledge uh, in the real life, okay? Let them grow their own fruits and vegetables in the school kitchen garden, or they can have a mini garden at the terrace of, uh, you see their homes also. So accordingly, you can have such kinds of workshops for them. Talking about analyzing, you can organize a case study analysis on health related issues, such as the impact of air pollution on health, this will help students analyze the causes and effects of various health-related issues. Because of pollution, right, because of climate change, we are having a lot of ill effects on our health, right? And maybe you can talk about the effect on our daily routine also. Many a times the schools are being shut. They are closed because of uh, environmental issues, climate action. This is all because of everything is going to have a negative effect on our health. Right, so you can correlate and you can have such kinds of discussion and analysis, let them go through the various newspapers, collect the data and present the same in the classes in any form that they want. Talking about evaluation, you can conduct a health fair where students, they can evaluate various health related products and services such as maybe talking about health apps, fitness trackers, or maybe healthy snacks. They'll help them evaluate the effectiveness and safety of various health-related products and services. See, many of us are using uh, different apps in the morning. When we go for morning walk, we check our the, the count of our steps. So they can explore these apps. You can ask them to develop their own apps too, right? And you can relate the same with that. I mean, how you beautifully will uh, you'll be able to integrate you'll be able to take this opportunity as a learning opportunity for your children. And if you talk about creation level, you may encourage your students to create health-related posters, infographics for social media, using papers, however you would, do, would like to do if you want to go ahead as an eco-friendly activity. So make sure you go ahead with the e-posters and all. Uh, presentations on any of the platforms, share the same with the social media. They can write blogs on it. Okay, their reports and they can share the same with others also in the society. So my lovely educators, this is how you will be able to conduct your World Health Day. And even if there is a nurse that is obviously a mandatory nurse or a doctor in your school, make sure they should uh, take a workshop, uh, take a session for your students. And uh, my lovely educators, if you have already gone through the NCF2022 implementation circular that we have received from CBSE, there are a number of points mentioned that we have to implement in our schools. And from in that, there is one more point. It is there all the teachers who are teaching preschool, the foundational stage from 
uh, you see nursery to class two, they all should be trained for giving first aid to the students. So on this World Health Day occasion, you all can organize this kind of workshop session activity for your teachers too. Take this opportunity and you will be able to even fulfill the requirements that are being listed for us by CBSE. So you go ahead with that and conduct a session for your staff as well by the nurse or the school doctor. You can invite a team of doctors also for health checkup uh, in your school too. The same also can be done. If you have activity, don't forget to share the same in the comment section below. Stay tuned to Mentoring the Mentors if you want to know about more such activities. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.